What I want to show you here is we have two different tables, and this is what it's going to look like. You're going to get hemodynamic values that look like this on your board exams, and you're going to have to figure out for pulmonary and vascular resistance, what values matter and what do I need to know? Well, remember, we're only talking about the pulmonary system. What comes first and what comes after it? Very important. Pulmonary artery to pulmonary capillary wedge pressure. Pulmonary artery pressure to pulmonary capillary wedge pressure. Those are the two values you need. And then as well as cardiac output, because you always have to know flow. Okay. So we go back to this exam tip. And what we see here is we don't need this if we're talking about PVR. What is the patient's PVR? We don't need CVP. We also don't need mean arterial pressure. We just need these two values right here, and then we're going to divide it by this value here. So again, let's see this. We do, uh, take our calculator, we do 15 minus 7 equals 8 divided by 6 equals a pulmonary vascular resistance. This one right here is uh, 